welcome back to genuine core youtube channel this is the 21th video in the java fx library management tutorial series and in this video i will show you how to create a login support for the library management system so for that i'm going to create a new user interface so uh, java library.system.ui. then let's call it login and inside that we definitely need an fxml file so mtfxml and then i'm going to name it as login and inside that i definitely need a java controller yes then uh, i don't want explicit as per the style sheet i'm going to use my common one created in the 17th video so uh, setting clicking on the anchor pane i want to set the style sheet so library assistant source resources common dot css then we need this uh, we have to create two buttons one for login and one for cancel and then we'll be needing two for username and password and one label entry uh, so first let me add a label here so this is label and i'm going to place it down there then here i'm setting to zero then here i'm setting to zero here i'm setting to zero also so uh, then I am going to increase its size by a little bit. Then I am going to set it in the center uh, using well, what is it? Alignment to center. So that's it. Then I am going to set it as a library assistant login. So I got it. Then I want to change the background color minus fx background color to some kind of pure black. Then I want to set the background, uh, the ex text color fx, text fill to white. So that's it. I want to increase the size of the font by a little bit. So I'm going to set that to like 14, 15, 18. 18 is good. So we go library assistant login title and we need two text fields. So I'm going to use jfx text field, one for username and one for password. So I'm going to place it right here and uh, i think that's enough okay so uh, we will have to give a pool te from text username and of course i want to float the label so that when i click on it it will go in the upset direction so that's okay then let's increase the font size for that too let us set that to 20 not uh, let's say to 18 is very big 16 16 also okay so username then we need jfx password field because we are going to use password so JF, uh, jfx password field then uh, like here okay and then i need to float the label i need to have to give the prompt access password i want to increase that to 80 17 okay so that's it uh, username and when i click on password that's okay so username is okay i need two more buttons one for canceling it and one for uh login so i'm going for jfx button the jfx button and the css effect will give a blue effect so this button should give us the login and one more button for cancelling so that's it so far so good uh, we got uh, the UI designed and we have to give some variable names so here I am going to give it as username and here I am going to give it as password and for this button I am going to uh, we don't want to name it uh, we just want to give the action so login handle login button action then for the cancel button handle Cancel button. So UI designing is complete. Let's go back to the program. Then login.fxml make controller. I got the controller. I'm removing the uh, comments. Let's remove this one. So far, what we need is uh, when the user clicks on the login button action, we want to actually load the main program. So uh, if you run the program now, what is happening is we are uh, the main program is loading first. We don't want to do this. We want to make this one load only after pressing the login button and after successful validation of the user credential. So 
for that uh, come to the main section and the main.java and uh, you can see that it is loading the main.fxml file now so we just don't want to load the main fxml directly it has to be loaded once we validate the user so we let us load the login.fxml file first so library bar access tent bar ui bar login bar login.fxml then library assistant login so that's it library assistant login then uh, it will load this login control uh, this login.fxml and then here we want to do the coding so when he press on the cancel button we don't just don't want to make the uh, stage close we want to uh, stop the entire program because without login we don't want anything to work so system dot exit zero will can will close the program entirely so that's a good idea then during the, in the initialization section we want the preference object so preferences preferences this is this is the place where we store the username password and all the configuration so preference equals preferences dot no it's a preferences dot get preferences this will read the preferences from the preference uh, uh, the config dot tc file so get preferences we got the preferences then once the user presses on the login button uh, uh, the login button we want to take the username and password so you uh, there's already username so you name equals username which is the ended username dot get text we'll take it then we have password string password equals no we already have password as p word equals password dot get text and in the 20th video in the last video i have explained the method of using hashing to secure the password so the password in the hex form xha1 form so in order to check whether the typed password is correct we have to convert into sha hex so digest utils from apache dot sha hex sha hex and inside that we have to give the password dot get text so this will encrypt and this will create the fingerprint the hash of the password so p word now we can do the comparison if you name dot equals it is a text and uh, we can give an object here so preferences dot get username so if username is correct and and uh, and and if uh, is a password so p word p word dot equals then we have to get the password so preferences dot get password it will return the password hex if both are correct then we will log in i mean uh, Log, login. Otherwise, the credential is this uh, is not correct. It is invalid. So we have to I'll create an alert message. So alert maker dot show error message or show symbol alert. Or the best method will be to do some tweaking like uh, uh, in the in my previous project. I actually did this method. I mean, instead of giving the library assistant login text here, we have to give password error so that the user will be more alerted so i'm going to give a variable name for this so i'm going to get as title title label title label then coming back here login.fxml make controller then here i will give title label dot set text invalid credentials so instead of creating a new pop-up window, we can use this method. So invalid credentials. Then uh, we have to reset it whenever he tries to uh, log in. If it is correct, then we don't have to give an invalid credential option. So title label or set text. We have to set the default text, which is library assistant login. Library assistant login. So we will say invalid credential and for some effect we can give a color also title label dot set background color so then for setting the background color we can use CSS style so title label dot set style then we can give effects background color 
and uh, giving just plain bread is not a good idea so uh, material we can go to the material the material or colors and find a good color a good bread so uh, this red will be enough and coming back here then let's say this so this is uh, this will change the background color to red and set the text as invalid credential and uh, we don't want to persist this whenever he tries to log in we want to reset it so title label dot set style background color to black as default value so that's it uh, i think i have completed this part let us run the program first let us press the cancel button so it is loading i'm going to press on this cancel button and this should stop the program as you can see it stopped the program that part is working and uh, if i press the say login button invalid credential so i will have to do one more thing i have to convert the text color to black so for that i can use here minus fx text fill to white so in the settings uh, main it's white right i don't know why that's happening because let's uh, background color background color it's already white i don't know let's run the program again no i haven't uh, compiled it so let's close it let's run the program so i'm going to press on login invalid credential so that's okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give my uh, correct credential so it is the username is admin and the password is root and when I press login, it is giving me like this. So here also, I want to set it like this background color fix text fill to black to white. So um, that's okay. Uh, and uh, so uh, when the username and password is correct, I want to close this stage and then I want to load the main window. So first, I want to close the stage. I will implement it in a while then I want to load my next uh, U UI so uh, the main UI so for loading the main UI let me take the code from the main section itself in the main I have in the main controller I have a lot of load window option and this is the load window so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it in the login controller below the close stage and um, here we have to implement it. so here also uh, I think this is the 10th or 11th time I am implementing a closing stage code. So uh, we need a field. So we can we can take the any component not username dot get scene dot get window dot close. This will close the current window. Then what we want is we have to load main. So load main. We just don't want to give the, the location. So the location is definitely inside bar library bar assistant bar ui bar login bar no it's not your main main bar main dot xml so i am referencing this file so library assistant ui main main dot xml and i want to give a title so library assistant so that's the name of our program and load main so when the username and password is correct we have to give the load main section so that's it i think we have completed the um uh, login page let's run the program and i am going to type in admin and root login as you can see yeah, i got the library assistant login and let us change the username uh, and test whether it is working so let us change the username to G, uh, admin from G, uh, from admin to gc and password let the password be root so settings updated and i am going to close the program and run it once again i'm going to use the previous credential admin root which is invalid and i am going to use gc root and press login and so let me try it again gc root now there is an issue so the issue is uh, uh, if i press gc root the issue is with password uh, the password 
is now corrupted. Uh, let me explain that. So let me set the configuration back to default by deleting it. And then I can use my old credential admin root. No, it is admin admin I think, admin admin. Then uh, logging in and as you can see in sales session. So the problem is if I set this admin to something like GC, that's okay. Then I change the password to root, it will work. But what if I leave it right here, I mean, uh, with this much hex, this is the hex of a password and press save, it will be actually hashing the hash. So if you come back to the uh, setting section and in say that we have a settings controller. So what's happening is we are setting the password using set password method and it is setting the password to, uh, it is hashing the password. So the problem is if, we, if I press save right now, this is a hex code for password admin and it is calculating the hex for the hex of admin. So that is creating the problem. So one solution is uh, to limit the number of um, lines possible for a password. Let's say we only uh, type a maximum value of 16 characters for a password and anything other than that, that's a hex value. So I'm going to do that. If password dot length less than 16 then we hash it otherwise it is already in the hash form and we don't want to hash it again so this dot password equals password so which is already in the hash form so that's it uh, let's me run the program again no i just want to clean clean the field then run it again so I'm going to press on admin root say invalid credential. Uh, did I change to GC? GC no. Uh, for illustration purpose, I changed it to the hash of hash. Let us uh, start from the base. Let me run the program for uh, once again. So there is no file. So it is starting with the initial configuration. So that will be admin 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 so that's okay then coming back to a setting and i am going to change this admin to genuine coder so gc then the password is leaving as the uh, um, hash itself then save so settings updated i am closing it they're trying for next login gc then password was admin i am trying to admin yeah we got it and suppose you want to change the password to something else you can do that also let me check that so uh, username is gc and i am going to set the password as root now we will calculate the hash code for the root and i am going to exit it i am going to run the program again and uh, username is gc and password is set to root trying login and that's it we got it working so thank you guys thank you for watching this video uh, like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos